Hi everyone! For today's video, we are going to do a drawing, and it is of this little cute donut. And without further ado, let me show you the materials you will need for this drawing so we can get started. So the materials for this drawing is a piece of paper, and actually for this, uh, I am going to do a craft within like uh, multiple videos. So I'm gonna make like a drawing collage, like a photo collage, and that will be in my next like multiple videos. I'm going to do drawings on the same piece of paper and space it out so that I can have a, like a collage of drawings. So you can see that, and then in the end, I'll like, uh, and then in another video, I'll show you how to exactly make the collage. So yeah, so piece of paper, some pencils and pens to like black pens to draw, uh, to actually like sketch the donut. Some pens and markers to color. And I use these pens for the sprinkles and this mark, uh, these markers for the glaze and the actual donut. And lastly, an eraser. For this, um, because of this video, there's like, it's, the theme is, I guess, cute drawings. So my eraser is cute too. So yeah, that's why I picked that eraser. And so without further ado, let's get started with our drawing. So first off, we need, I'm just gonna clear it a little bit. So it doesn't get in the way. I'm gonna work in the top half so you can see it. So first off, we need to draw a circle for the donut. And this is the bigger circle. So round. And I'm gonna draw it kinda light so you might not be able to see it. But when I trace it over, then you will. So I have my circle, could make it a little bit more better, but yeah. Uh, right now you can stop this if you want to like perfect your circle, but I'm gonna move on. Next is the hole inside. And what you can do is make it just a tiny bit bigger so that we can show like the shadow of the inside of the donut like the the inside of the hole so around that big should be the actual hole and then a bit bigger like around this big just around that big should be the act uh, like the hole but i'm just gonna keep it this uh this big i'm just gonna adjust it a little bit and like you can stop this video anytime to adjust your um drawing and if i'm going too fast just stop the video next is the glaze and the glaze is really important because that's the uh what gives the donut its like color pinkish because who would want a donut that looks like a bagel and so that's the glaze you uh you can stop this here again to do this next is the eyes and I'm gonna make them around that big. And then I'm gonna draw it a bit sideways just because I have more room there. And like the, smi uh, the cute eyes with just a tiny smile is super cute. So I'm just only gonna put my smile that big. No to draw the eyes 
And this is how I draw them. They look super cute when you do this. So even if you're not a master drawer, these eyes like this really help. So you draw one big and then one small circle and you leave them white and then you color the other part and then it looks super cute. So even if you're not a master drawer, if you do those steps, even if you're not even like a drawer, but you're just watching this video because you want to give it like a present to your friends who like really love donuts or something, then this is the perfect eye. Plus it's like a really cute one and it's simple to master. And so that's that. Next is tracing, which isn't really that hard. All you do is trace it. So you take this trace. It's really easy to just trace it. So may, uh, so you can just speed up this video that, either that or you can stop, trace it yourself, and then do all those other things. I'm gonna go pretty slow because I want to give people enough time to do it with me. Okay, so I'm almost done tracing. All I need to do is the eyes which are kind of the hard part, but it's, it's really easy to do. <clears throat> and... Here are the eyes. Here's one eye. When you're done with it, it looks pretty good if I do say so myself, and I do, but okay. And we're done. So while you let this uh, like dry over, you could think about the colors you wanna do. I'm going to do this color, this brownish color for the outside and this Mr. Sketch color for the inside because it can, it looks pretty good. This is kind of like a hot pink color when it dries. So that looks pretty cool. And so while it dries, you could uh, erase, or after it dries. Mine is kind of quick drying, so I can erase it now. See, um, when you do that, all your marks, pencil marks, go away and it's more cleaner. And that's that. Next is coloring and I said and I said before that I would do this. But before that, maybe you want to do the shadow, but let me just show you what color these are. This is that it looks brown, I know, but it is a pretty good color for your donut. And this Mr. Sketch Hot Pink looks like this, but when it dries, it looks hot pink. And so the shadow for this, you take your um, black marker again, just quickly draw like a bolded version of the circle just like trace it over kind of like that anyways um all right so that's done And that's the shadow. If you want to make it a bit bigger, you can, like this. Just make sure you trace it all over so that it looks good and even. And that's that. So I'm gonna finish coloring mine. It might take a bit longer, so either you can color it with me or you can just skip over this part and color it yourself.
also as you can see this dried and look at the color it is hot pink and also i wanted to talk about the new like the collage i'm doing i'm going to make sure it fits in a binder so i'm gonna draw three holes that's why i left like a bit of space here um and also i'm gonna do these fancy lines uh from each of my drawings so they kind of like they're separated so everyone knows they're different drawings and then i'm also going to do like i'm going to make the the lines a bit thick so that they're i uh they can have like designs on them so it's kind of like tape like design tape uh, that I'm using to line it but it's much much better because it's not actual tape so it has the same like width or like smoothness of all the others and also it boosts your creativity so that's why I'm also doing like a craft in a video like craft in multiple videos a craft and a craft, I was going to say. But this isn't technically a craft, it's a drawing. And then here comes, like, the glazed over part. Also, with this marker, you don't want to make sure it goes, like, really, really... Uh, like, you don't want to do the same parts over and over again. Because then it might be too thick. And that might not have a good color outcome. And on, uh, on the eyes, you have to kind of, like, be careful a bit because those have, like, the black and could smudge your marker. And if you're really into drawing but you're only a beginner... I suggest that these are, this should be like one of the first drawings you do because it's simply just easy and it's easy. Well, it's only a few steps without the coloring. The coloring kind of might take a long time for you. And so there it is. Wait for it to dry. And while that, I'll explain the uh, collage some more. So at the end of like all these drawings like once you see all my drawings here and there's no more space for one more i'm probably just going to do like i'm gonna sh uh i'm gonna do another video showing you how to make the collage and in that video i'm gonna add the uh, holes to put in a binder and so this is almost done drying and all you do is wait for like a minute or so but it doesn't really matter the, and then around 30 seconds is the best time to wait. And then you have all these um, colors that you could use. I just got these from, um, yeah, I just got these from Walmart. So these are good colors for your donut. So I'm going to do mostly every color. If you want to stick with a specific color, you could do like these three are a good combination. You could do like these three. You could do the these three. And then you could do these three. And so you can do any combination, but I'm gonna mostly do all of them. All you do is draw like little lines here and there. Like that. Make sure they're not too big so they actually do look like Like these and also I do have another one that uh, another marker I could use to do um, the sprinkles but I don't really want to use it okay the next one is this color I know the yellow uh, the yellowish orange doesn't really show up that much but it's okay it still works I guess and make sure your lines aren't like big like 
really, really big, or else that wouldn't be like sprinkles. Next color. Also, um, some colors like this could be mistaken for like a lot of other colors, like this. But overall, I would actually, if I was have like if I was making a donut, I would only use these three colors because they look pretty good on the donut. And once you've finished doing your sprinkles, you're all finished. This is basically the donut. So thank you for watching. I hope you had a great time doing this and as much fun as I did. And thank you just for watching and hope you have a great day. Bye.